Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. I saw on YouTube the other day that you can actually countersink a piece of wood with the head of a screw and really make it work so you don't have to use a countersinking bit. Um, I just did a video on countersinking bits and now we're going to try it what YouTube is saying. It was, it was one of those um, handy hacks and we're going to see if the hack actually works today. So what we're going to do is the hack that the, the screw that they used on there look like this. Okay, it's kind of like a sheet metal screw, that kind of thing. It has some sort of a rim on it. And I'm going to put it into the drill. Uh, point first, head out. And I'm going to see if this will countersink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like right here. And, and push, but before I do that, safety glasses. All right, here we go. All right, now that didn't work. All right, so let's try another screw. So we're going to try multiple ones just to see if, 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 if any of them would work. All right, this one's a little bit rounder of a head on it. And I think what they're counting on is the roughness of the actual Phillips head itself or the flat head. I'm gonna, I got one here that's a Phillips slash flat head uh, and see if that's what they're thinking is going to dig into the wood. So we're going to do it right here with this one. Now, the last one, it liked to, to try to travel around a little bit. Now, all it's doing is just creating like a little bit of um, a crevice, but it's certainly not going to be big enough to actually make this flush with the top of the wood. Let's try another one. I'm going to try the... Phillips slash flat head. Now this is a smaller, smaller piece. Got it in. Let's try it here. Now let, I'm letting you know that I'm pushing on this. I am trying to shove it into the wood. Now that might have done it, but. I think with the exertion on this, you might as well have just countersinked it with a countersink bit. Let's try, let's try the, the most popular screw that seems to be out there now next to duct tape. Let's try the, let's try the uh, drywall screw head. All right. Let's see it. Let's try it. One, two, three, go. That isn't doing one bit of anything. It gets the head gets the head hot from friction, but this did absolutely nothing except for flatten it out nice like sandpaper. So I am actually going to stop, render a decision. That particular hack does not work. I tried it. You saw me do it. I did it with four different types of screws. It's not going to work. So it was worth a shot. Um, the, the hacks are really cute on YouTube. Just watching them all, it's kind of, you look at them and say, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Look at some of the other hacks, hack tests that I did. So some of them work great. Some of them didn't work at all, like this one here. So we'll see you on the next video.